we're here on the pound Aussie 5 range and we have an AB equals CD pattern that formed a double top. So here's the AB equals CD pattern. And you can see up here we formed a double top. We did have the RSI confirmation so we went overbought with divergence. Have only just got in this trade. So I'm looking for that 38.2, just a one in one out. And um, I'm actually only going to front run it by one pip. So we're looking for a reward here of 19 for a uh, risk of 10. Uh, if I put a structure level on just where that double top formed and I go out to the 60, uh, then it actually came in at this key level just here. Um, we do have the potential here for the market to come lower. Uh, we have been moving quite nicely, move lower. Outside return, move lower, outside return, move lower, outside return. And we have not on the hourly come down to retest these candle closes. But if I do go to the 240, we have actually here come into that lower level. Um, there is a potential here that we could violate that level based off the daily time frame because we have held structure. But for me, I'm just looking at, at a one in one out here. This is a small trade and it is a pound Aussie and I don't like to hold this over the night time. So just simply a one in one out. We may see a pullback here for 26.18 or we may not. We may just continue straight down. Uh, usually I play for two targets on these types of patterns. 61.8 would be down here. Um, the problem is, is if this goes on to hit and I roll a couple of pips past break even here, it's only got to go back a few pips before the uh, the spread stops me out. So it's just not worth on these lower time frames going for those secondary targets. Um, but again, this is worth 19 pips if we can get down there for those targets. And we're back and it took a while, if I'm honest, but uh, we have now eventually got down and hit targets there for um, plus that little 18 pips.